Hey, what's up guys? I am back, back, back again with another knife review. This time it's a Civivi Spiny Dogfish. The overall length of the knife is 7.81 inches long. The handle alone is 4.33 inches. It is 1.17 inches wide at widest and 0.51 inches thick. The blade is 3.47 inches long. It's 0.12 inches thick. It is 14C28N steel, which is a good steel. It's not a, a super steel or a budget soft steel. It's just a good quality steel that was uh, de developed specifically for Kershaw. It has a flat grind with a reverse Tonto blade shape. I think it looks like a lot of Warncliffe's too, but I think this extra grind here and the belly on the blade uh, is what differentiates that. The handle is a natural jade G10. The liner is stainless steel. It has a liner lock. And it is tip up, right hand carry. The uh, action rotates on caged ceramic ball bearings. And uh, it's pretty comfy. It was designed by Mike Gavak of uh, Gavco Knives. The uh, action is excellent. Those ceramic ball bearings make it feel very snappy. You can get a lot of good force in there. And I think for the non-standard blade shape, the hole here is, the thumb hole is excellent. It's, uh, it leaves a little bit to be desired overall, but not at the price point. So if you'll see, there's a, uh, it's not really entirely smooth. They got any hard hot, hot spots out of here, but it is, it still has some edge to it. You can lock your finger in on it well but it doesn't feel like ultimately comfy or anything. It's comfortable enough, don't get me wrong. It's not a drop shut action, but it doesn't take much force. And hey, that's good for a use knife. Honestly, this would not be a bad one and done knife for somebody uh, if they like the design. It's well designed, but still looks very cool. Like, I, I would imagine that there's some dude out there for whom this would be their knife and they would love it to death and they would probably not pick another one. It really does feel very good, very snappy to play with. Sounds very good. A little bit standard on the sound and the action and everything, but at uh, a price point of $60, I don't think there's much wrong with that at all. It's Civivi. Civivi provides a lot of good quality and uh, good quality, good mo modern pivots too. I really like that. The blade is uh, stonewashed. And it is, it's a pretty good, it's a pretty good blade for being such a kind of a strange shape and having these organic rounded cuts here, scale-ish cuts. It's still a pretty solid slicer. And I'm not going to say it's the sliciest thing in the world. And I'm not going to say it's bad at all. Let's see if we can cut some curly cues. 
Let's see what we can do. It, I think the biggest downside, see that's not bad, but can I wave it through? That's going to be a harder one. And no. This is factory grind. Not bad at all. I think the biggest issue is probably, let's see if we can visualize it for you guys. I think the bi biggest issue is going to be that little nick right there. And you can cut right through. It's not bad, but there is a little jump sometimes. And that can mess up your cut. But, as you can see, it does well. And it really cuts well. Gavco is a really good designer, I think. He designs everything after sharks. And they lead to some wild, out-there designs that aren't, uh, aren't full-on wacky. But they're very aggressive and tough cyberpunk. They're kind of they're kind of cyberpunk feeling. Uh, this is what an edge runner would carry. I um, I got this thing because I really I I really have liked wider blades with thin handles recently, and the patterning on it combined with the price, the designer, etc really smoke, spoke to me. Uh, the handle, the patterning is pretty cool. It looks much deeper than it is in press photos because they, uh, I think they just get the shade all exactly right. It's hard to see on camera, not as hard to see in person, and it definitely provides a good texture. I think not having it as aggressive as it is in Photos and stuff is um is probably for the best, though I could have seen that working out really well and expected it to be more of a a wild experience. Instead, you get something where ergonomically it's it's not wild. It's very very normal ergonomics for a knife. I don't exactly like that my fat fingers land right here, but. It's still comfortable. That said, uh, I like something just a little bit bigger that gives my fingers room to spread out. Still, I think for somebody with a slightly, slightly smaller hand, this might be just about perfect. The, the handle lets you get a good precision grip here or here. But what I don't like is that when I'm choked up like this, it's a little bit little bit weird. I mean, it works. Works fine. But I would have liked some jimping or to push this, this down just a, a tad. I would have also liked if the, uh, the thumb hole here was just, yeah, just had that little bit more grinding done. Even though it, it's just fine. It's, it's comfortable enough, but it doesn't feel natural. It's not perfectly ergonomic. So don't go into this knife expecting a real ergonomic adventure. And you're getting something that actually feels better than it looks like it has any right to. But it feels normal. I like the Jade G10. The patterns you get when it's cut like that are really, uh, really kind of something. That's part of why I love knives. Let's see if I can get that waviness in there. That's part of why I love knives is materials. I, I love materials and stuff like G10, uh, Damascus, that custom knife maker's Bastanium, Zerkutai, it's all uh, it's all fascinating and beautiful to me and very cool. Thank you, knife makers. Very cool. The clip is a nice deep carry pocket clip. Unfortunately, it is not ambidextrous. 
it's right hand carry only, which is kind of a shame because I think this knife, I'm not a lefty, so don't make fun of me. Okay, go ahead, make fun of me. But I think this knife would have been really good to be ambidextrous or for left or for lefties too, because the thumb hole works great. Overall, well, I'm not doing a uh, number scoring system, but overall, I think it's a quality knife. Um, I think kind of what you expect from Civivi, but in a lot of ways, I'll expect these Chinese knife makers to do something that's not as radical. Either, either it's full-on gas station gaudiness, or when they're actually good knife makers like this, then they're, um, they're, they're not very radical. They're fairly tame to try and capture a broad swath of the mar market. But the ability to get a Gavco knife, and his customs go for a thousand-ish, right around there. The mid-techs are upper fives to six hundreds. This is all new prices. Um, and so the ability to get one for right around 60 bucks, it may, may be a little bit lower than that by now. I think it's right there around $60, is very nice it's a real little treat it's nice to have a blade that works well while still being aggressive and interesting the finishing the fit and finish is all fairly high quality as you would uh, expect from Civivi stuff that is uh, definitely worth the price and you're really getting your your value for money out of it given that it's a given it that it was designed by a designer like Mike Gavick. So, if you guys want to, check it out. The Civivi Spiny Dogfish. Thanks for watching, guys. Like and sub for more. Peace!